So what's going on everybody? It's your boy Saturn aka Swagner17 and this is my second Madden 19 offensive tip video and in this video I'm going to give you guys a bunch of tips but I also want to challenge you guys to find out what works specifically for you because what works for me might not work for you but for the most part I hope these tips are going to help you. Alright for the first tip in today's video I want to tell you guys do not hold RT or R2 the sprint button at the start of every single run play like when you first hand off the ball do not start sprinting immediately I'm sure you've heard other youtubers and a bunch of other people saying that and they've been saying it for I think at least for Madden 18 as well and that is gonna be true because once you and I show some footage in practice mode later on but once you hold the sprint immediately you your blockers don't have enough time to set up their blocks and I show later on if you don't sprint immediately you give your blockers enough chance and once you hit the hole immediately press the sprint button you'll get that a pretty big acceleration boost and I find that that helps gain more yards in the run game I know it's kinda counterintuitive like you want to accelerate to the hole as fast as possible but in reality for Madden you're gonna wanna just be patient at the line of scrimmage like Le'Veon Bell does and then you'll accelerate and that's how you'll be finding some positive gains in the run game another thing with running the ball anytime you have a lead you basically want to gonna want to milk the clock so basically you know just time of possession you know you want to keep the ball for as long as possible there's no really need to rush to score if you're up unless it's like before halftime and you want to you know add on points time of possession wins in Madden all right my next tip I want to say is do not test the CPU if you see if you see that your receiver might not be open like the computers got it covered you don't want to test it because I've seen in Madden 19 the user is kinda or the CPU user that is is kinda slept on like do not test them they make some pretty crazy glitchy interceptions so I just want to warn you guys do not test them and if you are facing a skilled user online you need to practice quickly making reads if your opponent is using a skilled position you need to make sure that you can either bait him if he's trying to bait you you try to bait him by making a better read and throwing it to an open receiver um, this is just another quick tip you need to uh, be weary of one-on-one uh, -on -one coverage on press man and if they have one high safety and you have a faster receiver than the corner guarding you uh, this game is pretty similar to Madden 17 and previous games where you can burn your corner pretty easily if there's a, a speed threshold like a difference in speed you know what I'm saying so be watching out for that it's not really gonna come in handy that too often and uh, just about a little scheme I showed a couple clips earlier because right now this is the showing the run but um, the pass play I was running is an out double flat route combo it's an easy read combination and the user can't really or the defender can't really stop it so that's what comes in handy is it's unpredictable basically so there's an out route the running back has a flat route and then you audible to a drag route on the tight end as I showed earlier in that footage and you can throw it to basically whoever's open all you have to do is make a read so basically you just want to be unpredictable with your plays you need to go back and watch my Madden 19 offensive scheme video I give a lot better tips in that video this is just some addition like what I left out and some just like mental tips and stuff like that so basically don't want to panic if you're down in a game like by a score or even two scores like later in the game you need to keep your composure you need to continue to make good reads and you can even consider running the ball if they're in like quarters formation which is basically like 3d linemen three safeties like they don't have enough run support so you might consider running the ball another thing I wanna touch on is to never pass up on field goals I know a lot of people like to be aggressive they don't wanna kick field goals and that's a big mistake I've won many like low scoring games because of my good defense and speaking of my good defense I'm about to make an offense or what I say, off, defensive scheme video and I feel like that's gonna be more uh, helpful to you guys than an offensive scheme video because I feel like my defense is way stronger than my offense but I feel like more people are interested in 
offensive schemes because offense i don't know people just like offense but anyways back to what i was saying about the field goals so for example like i will win low scoring games with only kicking field goals like i've won games nine to seven or like 12 to six like three or four field goals in a game like it's crazy either i get into the red zone and they stop me or even i can just get to like the 40 yard line and then will lutz he has 97 kick power which enables him to make a maximum of 57 yard field goal with no wind and i'll get into that in a minute but uh the only way a field goal really isn't worth it is if you miss it or if you're down by over 11 then i would go for a field goal obviously so you need to know your kicker's strength so basically i'm showing will lutz here has 97 kick power and it enables him to make a 97 or why is it 57 yard field goal with no wind as you see the wind is going horizontal so it's not really affecting his kick so 97 kick power can kick a 57 yard field goal and right here i show chandler cantanzaro he has 95 kick power and he cannot make a 57 yard field goal with no wind had max power perfect accuracy here we go again perfect and for some reason 95 kick power cannot make a 57 yard field goal but he can make a 55 yard field goal and just as like a little tip even though these are the maximums they can kick i want you guys to maybe consider going one or two yards less in a game time situation therefore you guarantee to make and this is um dan bailey he has 92 kick power but i think because of his high accuracy it enables him to make a 55 yard field goal as well as someone that has 95 kick power so that's pretty interesting and then this is the best kicker in the game the only kicker that can make a 60 yard field goal with no wind justin tucker 60 yard field goal barely made it so a tip i want to get for field goals basically is whatever your kicker's max is which is basically what i said so justin tucker make a 60 yard field goal kickers that have 97 kick power can make 57 95 55 so basically you can think of it as like whatever their uh second number in their kick power that's basically what they can make in terms of like 50 so ba if you don't understand what i'm saying basically 95 equals 55 97 equals 57 so you should basically understand that uh, another thing i want to say is uh this is moving on from the field goals is don't really get mad if you're fumbling in a game or if you throw like a glitchy interception because these things are inevitable and madden and the only thing you should really get mad is is at yourself for making poor reads or bad play calls so you just need to stay calm and yet sharp and that alone should help you a little more times than less when you rage you lose uh, this is optional and i actually have fun doing this but if i win a close game against an annoying opponent who's getting lucky or cheesing maybe even even if i shouldn't have won i always send a message telling him to practice and a lot of times they get really mad and it's hilarious but people that i completely destroy i usually don't say anything and if i face a worthy opponent who plays well there's no bs and no cheese win or lose i'll give that guy a gg and because it was i'll be a good sport it's a gg all right so apologize for stumbling on my words throughout that video i didn't really have a good script plan but hope you guys did enjoy this tip video from madden 19 i'm very confident these will help your game in some type of way and hopefully you'll be winning more games in head-to-head -head or mutt online or whatever type of games you guys play in madden 19 um i'm personally climbing the leaderboards and trying to maintain top 100 on the leaderboard so i hope this helped I hope you enjoyed, good luck, and until my next video, doses.